Hey guys, yes, after a long awaited uh, service, the car is now back and ready to get out. And uh, let's give it a little mini shakedown drive. And we're heading off to Ara Damansara. Oh, shit. oh no. Oh no. What have you got yourself into? Kick out so me man. Hey guys, so after a long wait, around two weeks, the car is now finally ready and it has left Mega Auto Service. So the car is in running condition now, the mechanicals are fine. And the next step is to take this car for a respray. As you can see, uh, a lot of the paint needs some work over there. All right, so um, I'm gonna jump into the car and uh, let's give it a little mini shakedown drive all the way to uh, Ake's shop at Arada Mazar. All right, let's go. Uh, the car is serviced and uh, I'm going to talk a little bit more about how much it costs and uh, uh, roughly what did I change and stuff like that. Or rather, what did the uncle change at uh, Mega Auto. But first impressions... Oh, the car is way better now. Way better, okay? So, uh, my biggest complaint or like the first poor impression of this car was actually the um, clutch. The, previously, it takes roughly around half a second for the clutch to completely go from a uh, depressed to uh, to to come up. So it's really odd, and uh, frankly, I, I I wasn't really confident about the car like moving, you know. But that's done. Uh, the car hasn't been serviced since 2013, so uh, a lot of things. Was just not right yeah I, I when i was driving it for the first time i could feel the engine all was like sludge i know it's just a feeling right the power steering was making noise and stuff like that right so oh shit. oh no oh no ah, i'm stuck in the middle of the road damn it alfa romeo Where's my hazard lights? Oh shit. Oh shit. This is not good. Ah. Uh, sorry. Oh, it's cool. It's cool. Yeah. Sorry, 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 sorry. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you boss. Oh shit. Thank you to the two Grab drivers who were so nicely, or the uncle over there, let me just show you. Yeah, guys, I'm, I feel so blessed. They were, they were these guys uh, who were willing to help push my cars from this uh, truck. Yeah, oh. Okay, so I gotta figure out what's wrong. Wow, oh, so good to have friends, look. <laughs> I texted in my group chat that I got a breakdown. Look who showed up, Bowen and Bobby. Alright, let's get this gun. Moment of truth. I like Roger's message. Yeah. You're very optimistic <laughs> driving an old Alpha and you assume it's petrol. Alright. <laughs> yeah! Yay! Eh? <laughs> oh, f me, man. Wait, you, you let it suck, suck the petrol for a while. <laughs> the carburetor way, pressing the throttle door. There's no carburetor. It's become a ritual already. <laughs> when things don't work, just step on the throttle. Ah, oh, f me! Here it comes. This is the exact moment where Thomas felt, what have you got yourself into? <laughs> 
<laughs> Kijk uit, zo. <so. laughs> What is this, man? Come on, you're working fine last week. Italian food? Yes. Italian cars. It's <laughs> 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 Alright, so we're back on the road again thanks to Bobby and Baldwin who accompanied me there uh, it's, just so, it's just so much more fun to have friends around you when you have classic cars like this or, or old school cars and I know we're just having such a good laugh and I was in the group chat and a good friend of ours, Roger, who owns the Thunderbird and many old cars you know, because I, I texted and said I think it's the petrol uh, that's low and then he said I, I love your optimism Thomas that you you would drive a uh, old school alpha and when the car stalls you think it's the lack of petrol you're so optimistic <laughs> so okay what the hell happened right um, apparently there's this little button down here that that car uh, that I don't want to describe it you have to for some reason it unclicked itself or it undid itself so what happens is that it keeps cutting um, my petrol so everything runs except for petrol I think it's a safety um, feature of the car where let's say the car rolls over it gets in a serious accident it, it will cut petrol itself right to the, to the engine bay but for whatever reason it keeps cutting petrol without my permit without with no reason whatsoever and it's placed actually beneath the passenger seat so I'm probably gonna have to figure that out another time, right? But right now we are pulling out. Let's see if we can get this kind of rev out a bit. Whoa! That sounds good. <laughs> now um, I learned this recently that Alfa Romeo invented variable valve timing or what we know today as VTEC they didn't make it famous but they started doing it very early on that's racing tech and uh, you can feel it present in this car as you ring out the power you can actually feel it okay so this car went through some major service we changed a lot of things um, it's roughly around 4,100 ringgit which includes a lot of parts, uh, a lot of labor as well. Uh, the only thing that's missing right now is the fuel tank sensor. So I, I'm always running on empty petrol because uh, it's not working at the moment, right? So uh, we can't get any parts as for the moment, but uh, I'm, I'm gonna have to source it myself. Uh, but everything else is uh, done. Let's see, uh, off the top of my head, there was an engine oil service. The car hasn't been serviced since 2013 so almost nine years of no service when I was driving this car I could feel the engine was like sludge the, the engine all was like sludge and you can feel the resistance of the engine rolling it was just so bad but now it, it's free you know so that's that's pretty cool um, we've changed of course the gearbox oil we changed the coolant oils the brake fluids uh, power steering fluid interestingly your uncle said the power steering fluid was all dirty uh, sludgy and was making all kinds of weird noise can you actually hear the power steering mechanism grinding itself uh, it wasn't a it was a very cringy sound to have but that's gone right now uh, my clutch uh, fluid has been changed the gear fluids the clutch palms clutch pipes all have been changed previously the clutch palm used to take like half a second to like you know, roll up you know so now it's working completely well and uh, car feels great actually yeah and the best part of it they took up the cooling call and they cleaned everything inside there and he told me it was disgusting all right uh, as expected so uh, mechanically the car is sorted now this electronic thing it seems to be working well right now but I'm sure I want to get it double checked maybe by a second opinion or you know, someone else to see how we can fix this I am on my way now to Ake's shop Okay. But I'm pretty happy that the car is well serviced now and it's uh, sort of driving right now. So that's it for this update. And oh, the car drives beautifully after the service and I'm starting to like this beautiful driving rhythm that occurs in an Alfa Romeo. You can see why people like this car and just listen to that sound. I'll do a full review on this car as soon as it's done, but for now, 
it's due for respray and also some new insulation and carpets because it was cockroach infested. Now more updates of that in the future episode. Now if you want to know more about what color I'll be respraying to, subscribe to my channel and turn on the bell notification so you won't miss an episode when new videos are out. And oh, for those of you who participated in guessing how much coins were there in my car, I'll share the video right after this clip and also announcing the winner to the Evo Club Car Wash Morning <laughs> Drive. Okay guys, you remember from the last video, we were about to guess how much coins are they in the 155. So before I start calculating how many coins are they, I'm actually pretty intrigued because most of the 50 cents, look at that, that's the old 50 cents. It's been a while since I've seen any of this around. I don't know about you guys, but that's me. Uh, even this 20 cents, right? Uh, and check it out, when's the last time you saw a one cent? It's a copper coin, it's a full copper coin over there. Okay, five cents. My gosh, these things are extinct, right? And uh, when is the last time you saw a one ringgit coin? I'm not sure what material is this. Like, it could be brass or something. I don't know, bronze. But um, I remember having this when I was younger and uh, I would pay this to have my uh, mee goreng or have two bowls of mee goreng when I was younger. <laughs> so uh, these are the coins. So let's do a quick count over here, right? That's uh, 50 cents, so it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. That's 20 cents, so that makes 14, okay? So that's 50 cents, so makes it 14.50 for all the Bitcoins, okay? Not Bitcoins, but Bitcoins, all right? <laughs> 14.50. So this one is 20 cents. So 14.70, this 10 cents, so... 1480, 1490, 15, 1510. Okay, that makes 15 ringgit and 10 cents. So these two are 5 cents, 15 ringgit 20 cents, 15 ringgit 25 cents, and 15 ringgit 25, 15 ringgit 27 cents. Wow, 15 ringgit 27 cents. So I'm going to have to check who is the winner, all right? I'll, I'll announce it in, with the magic of editing, I'll announce who is the winner and you get uh, a morning drive package at Evo Club, car wash sponsored by myself, all right?